Clementine, I'm a genius. That's why you rolling with me. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Here we go, Doug. Let's go. Now's the time. Hey, over there, gather around like the Cosby shows on or something. S watching static. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? I mean, why don't you walk with some urgency? Like they're zombies, they will kill you. Damn, you gotta kill your brother, though. Hey, bud. No time to get off sentimental. I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. You over here trying to get sentimental with a zombie. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of him tomorrow, that helps. Give me that key. Hurry up. Again? You're not dead yet? Hurry up, get the keys. My butthole puckered. There we go. We gone. Holy crap! Run! Good job. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hey, real talk, though. You wanna be my girlfriend? No? Forget you then. Just cause your dad about to die, you all stuck up. Won't let a brother holla. Last chance. Smack her booty, just playing. Alright, let's go. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. What does that mean? What does that even mean? What, there's an alarm on the pharmacy door?
Dang it. Doc, come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Guys, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Good shot. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Dang it. Woof. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go get the cane, Clementine. I'm not dying today. Good job, smart girl. Give me that. Behind the back. You see me do it behind the back, though? Hey, if Doug dies, I can be. She can be my girlfriend. No, this is all slow motion and epic. Who do I save? Dang it, man. No, get him off of me. Oh my God. Let's go. Dang, I had they, they fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Get up. Get up. Get up off the time. My dude had traded, had turned on me too. I was like, my dude hit me with an axe. Hey, I'm about to put that dude on the next World Star Fight compilation. Real talk. That big dude, I'm about to just sleep him. What a super duper hoe move. He ain't even gonna see it coming. He gonna be just chilling, eating biscuits, and I'm gonna be like, hey, you can go to sleep. After I saved his life too. Like, for real? That's why I'm about to kiss your your daughter in the mouth with tongue. I'm gonna start being real nice to her. I'm gonna agree with everything she say. I feel like I had to get Doug out the way though. That way that girl could be my my girlfriend. Hey Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. Columbus, stage 
to Atlanta. Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. That's dumb, Glenn. Because all your friends are probably dead. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Was that his girlfriend up there or something? You're dumb. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. So you know you owe me a kiss, right? Saved your life. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. You'll be alright. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was... Just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? It's because I love you. Me too, Carly. I wish there was that option. So awesome. The had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was World toast. Star. But you know World what? Star. Just he know. Wasn't. Just know. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh... You want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Here, let me go deal with this. Oh, That's man, right. Clementine, no. another thing. What do you want? Sleep, that ninja. You like my daughter? I do. Her dad tried to kill me, so she's fine, not really. Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. 
But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Can I have the option to like... Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. The heck? Is that the end of episode one, or...? <laughs> I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Ah, oh, snap. You never liked my dad. Get it back at the drugstore whenever you thought Kenny's kid was big. You went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. <laughs> no more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Honesty. You and 54% of players were honest. Who is Herschel? That was that guy that was asking why we we're in a cop car, right? Dang, most people chose Sean over Duck, huh? Defended Kenny. Gave Irene the gun. Okay. Dude, you know they did like a really good game to where like, you see how it's like split almost 50-50 for everything? Like, they make it really tough to make a choice in this game. And that's why it's split. Like, it's not just, oh, I'm definitely going to go this way, you know, or we'd see these a lot more lopsided. And only one I was kind of in the minority in was Duck. I guess kind of giving the gun to Carly, but... um. I just picked Duck because he was the youngster, but my someone was telling me that Sean would be a bigger asset, but it's kind of cool because we ended up getting a ride and whatnot, but. Dude, I could see this game being like really fun to go back and play and just co make completely different choices and seeing if it alters things at all, but like I wonder like if the stuff I did in this episode affects the next episode. Or if, you know, next episode is just completely separate altogether. Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, I'm loving this. This Y'all were right. Thank you to everyone that suggested this. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah. Man. So, we're going to keep it pushing and on to the next episode.